So with Droptober here, uh, where Canva has added a few new features, there's one special feature that they've added for page numbering. Now, the one thing that you do need to know is that right now, as of the date of recording my video, page numbering is not available in documents, which is kind of weird. Like, I don't know why Canva wouldn't add page numbering to documents, but uh, we do have it in um, designs or projects. So I'm going to go ahead and start a design. This is a YouTube thumbnail. And when you're creating your design, most certainly you can create the design eight and a half by 11 uh, to mimic a page or a five by seven. Uh, and you'll add the page numbering, obviously close to the bottom of your page or maybe the top, whatever. I mean, you decide, right? But to find the page numbering, just head on over to the text and you're going to find this item or icon right underneath your uh, brand kit uh, fonts. It's called dynamic text and you can just click that and that will add a text box to your workspace. Here it is right here. And when you click it, your left panel is going to open with a whole bunch of different numbers for editing the page numbers and the format. So with any kind of text, you can increase the font size. You can change the font uh, if you want to. You can change the color of the font and you can apply a whole bunch of different uh, effects that are available here on this floating um, toolbar. But let's go back into edit page numbers. And in the left panel, you were going to notice that there are a couple of options. So for the format, you have the option to display numbers only. You can display the page plus the page number, or you can dis display page X of Y, meaning page one. And if you have 10 pages in your project, it will display page one of 10. So I'm going to actually select this one, page one of 10. And you will notice that my page numbers now has page one of one because I only have page one page in my project here. Now, going back to the left side, my left panel, we also note that underneath format, we have an option for show numbers on and which pages you want to show numbers on. So if you have multiple pages, so why don't I duplicate this page and I'll duplicate and make a, a couple of different pages. Now, if we notice, we've got page one of four, page two of four, page three of four and page four of four. And if I click on this, that's going to open up my left panel again. And when I change the option to show numbers on the pages and I click down, I'm going to have the option to show page numbers on either all of my pages, either my current pages, or we can actually select the pages that we want to see that page numbering on. So if I unselect page four, I now don't have the page numbers displayed on my page four. Now we notice also on the bottom, we'll have an option to remove all page numbers. And if I change the page number format, it's going to change all of the page number formats. And we'll also see that there'll be an option for us to apply properties to all the pages. And that's pretty much it. If there are any other tutorials you'd like to see, please put that in the comments. And if you learned anything in this tutorial, please do press that like button, subscribe, turn that notification bell on. And if you're interested in joining my live classes, click that join button next to my YouTube channel name. If you don't see that join button, you're probably on mobile. So just head on over to my YouTube channel description and you'll find a join link 
button in there. All right. Bye for now.